说，各位观众 ，TVBS 采访团队持续在波兰为您掌握有关于乌克兰难民潮涌入到波兰的现况。那我们也采访到了波兰人道行动的发言人，他是这里在波兰最大的非政府 NGO 组织。他们非常早的时候呢，就已经启动这相关的人道救援计划。他们也在这个边境的部分有设立非常多的救济站哦。来听一下他们怎么说。So we wanted at the end of January we decided we want to secure people with food, with hygiene products, with money, in case something happens, an escalation. But we didn't predict this kind of escalation. So when the conflict, uh, the, the, this current war started in whole Ukraine, well, we already had a fundraiser. We just broadened it, and we decided to help not only in eastern Ukraine but to the internally displaced person in uh, whole Ukraine and on the border uh, in Poland to the refugees. So how much in、uh, money do you raise? And how many goods has we done? Well, we are only fundraising、uh, money, and also we are、uh, inviting volunteers to help us.、Uh, we already fundraised、uh, more than、uh, 20 million Polish złoty,、uh, so it's around、um, between four and five million euros. <laughs> I don't know the exact change right now,、uh, but、uh, we are still gathering money because we are going to、uh, respond in the long term. We are going to rebuild Ukraine because we already we are already there. Our employees are Ukrainians. We are we have a permanent mission.、So 这个人道的救济站其实不只是在波兰的边境，他们在乌克兰的境内也有设置，就是希望可以帮助这些被迫逃离家园的难民，能够在第一时间感受到温暖。以上是为您掌握的最新信息。想扩大国际视野，掌握趋势，请订阅专门报道国际新闻的 YouTube 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus， 记得要开启小铃铛哦。